Hey there, ladies and gents. I'm really excited right now. I am probably the excitest, most excited I've ever been uh, about a uh, a certain product that I have a, have been in a while. Um, I just got my new uh, iPhone 6 Plus case. I'm not going to show it just yet. Um, I'm going to make the big introduction. <laughs> uh, a little history about it. I've had this case for about every single iPhone that I've ever purchased from the 4S up to the 5S. And actually the Nexus 5 as well because they made a 4 too. And uh, I've waited since the iPhone 6 Plus and 6 came out to get this case or to for it to be actually made. So um, without any more further ado, um, actually a little history real quick about it. I got this case because uh, a friend of mine at a job I used to have um, showed me it uh, for my iPhone 4S. And I went and picked it up at one of the uh, places he got it at. And I just fell in love with it. And not only is it a great case, it's made in the U.S. And it's uh, it's one of the fa my favorite brands in terms of what I would use for actually or actual uh, are uh, you know guns. In other words, there we go. So uh, without any further ado, here's the case. Let's get this set off to the side here for a minute. And there she is. This is the new Magpul field case for the iPhone 6 Plus, as you can see right there. Now, the iPhone 6 had already come out uh, about a month, maybe about a, going on a month already, I believe, uh, for the uh, for the iPhone 6. iPhone 6 Plus just came out barely on the 18th. Um, now, I I scrambled to get uh, it ordered as soon as possible, just because they did say on their website if you were to order it before. Or if you were to order it after the 18th, when it actually did uh, uh, finally get released, then you probably wouldn't have received it until after Christmas, uh, just because of the holidays. I ordered it ordered it about I think about five or six, around eight o'clock or so that evening, and purchased it. And I just got it today, um, about five or ten minutes ago. Now I ordered this on the I think it was the 18th. And today's the 22nd, and I got it today. So that's pretty fast shipping by Magpul. So two big thumbs up to you guys. Um, and I just got my new AR, uh, my new AR-15 um, P Mags too. So I'm pretty excited about that as well. But uh, here's the uh, the case itself. Nothing special. Some crazy packaging. Just letting you know how it feels. Now the last case I got for uh, for Magpul was from a Nexus 5, which I was very very astounded that they actually made case for the Nexus 5. Um, and I still have that case. I don't know where it's at currently, but I still have it. Excuse me, sorry about that. And uh, I loved it too. The only thing about it with the Nexus 5 was that the they built it perfectly, but the Nexus 5 just felt already cheap. So having plastic on plastic kind of felt weird. So um, I didn't really use it all that much, but it was still a great case. I loved it. When I had my iPhone 5S and I had my uh, Magpul case, I was absolutely beyond in love with it. It felt felt great. I mean, there's a little bit of a little uh, gap issue on the top, but I think that was just mainly because it kind of I, I missed took it off and to put it on so many damn times that it kind of um, moved out of position. But yeah, there that that was the last case I had for my iPhone. I started off with the iPhone 4S, went up to the iPhone 5, and then up to the uh, iPhone 5S, and had Madpool ever since then. So let me go and get this open here for you guys. Oh, I'm, I'm super excited right now. I was not expecting to get this today. I was expecting to get this probably uh, on Friday or Saturday, but here we go. Alright, so there's the packaging, very simple packaging, just a piece of cardboard and some plastic and the cool case. Now, these retail for about 17 bucks on Magpul's website, um, plus eight, I think it was eight or nine dollars for shipping and handling. Um, I think it was eight dollars for shipping and handling with FedEx Ground, which was really fast compared to UPS, but um, well worth the money. So it came out to about 25 bucks, 26 bucks in total. Get this shipping out here. So nothing else comes in the packaging. You just get the Magpul branding on a piece of plastic and cardboard and your face. So the reason why I like this is because of the PMAG feel they have of it. So you get some uh, inscription on the inside letting you know it's made in the U.S. It's still patent pending. Or no, there's a patent actually done now. And the uh, name of the case itself. Um, very nice and smooth texture in the meat and it's inside. And 
nothing really along the edges, anything like that. On the outside, though, you have this beautiful, beautiful feeling. Now, if you guys have ever uh, touched a P mag before, it's the same feeling. It's basically like a a very subtle gritty feeling, kind of like if you were touching a a nah, a basketball, but that, that's been like a rubber basketball. It's kind of the same feeling, but it's not silicone feeling. It's really nice matte feeling. And you can if you can hear that, that's what it feels like. So um, it feels great. You can you can look here the texture. It has this really nice texture to it. It has really nice radius. Beautiful opening at the top there. And then um, you get these nice openings with the. I think the that was probably a big thing they were trying to do is the reopening sizes of the uh, of the new iPhone six plus. That's why it took so much longer because the phone's that much bigger than the iPhone six. So it's it's it probably took a little more work to do. So it's a very thin case. Okay, so if you're looking for super protection, I wouldn't recommend getting this. If you're looking for decent protection, just to help you from a drop or two, this is a case to get. One that's looking for somebody who's going out hiking, probably not. Got a nice uh, thin profile, nice ridges on your uh, your power button, and on the side there to help with better grippability. Not a very big fan of the uh, the mold cut off there, but oh well, I'll, I'll deal. <laughs> and then same thing with the other side, you have a really nice cutout for your volume rocker and your vibrator switch. Nothing on the top. And that's about it. I mean, I know this is I'm more excited about it than most people probably would be compared to. Uh, them getting a different phone or a different electronic but i'm excited about this case because i love this brand okay so there's the case so let me go ahead and uh throw this on real quick it'll just be a brief second Bam, it is on. Now, it is a pretty stiff fit. This is not a uh, thin plastic like a silicone or other types of TPU. It is a TPU type of material, but it's not like the, if you had an NCP or G, NGP or the, I forgot the other review I did for, but um, it's not like those brands if you would have those. Um, this is a little more thicker and a little more uh, firmer feeling. Um, you don't get a really sag lip at the bottom, as you can see. It doesn't sag at all. Now, the one thing I was really curious, and it, it kind of confused me. I think it was actually something I saw in another review for the iPhone 6. They had this weird opening up here at the top. Not sure what it's all about. Just kind of randomly placed. And if you can see that there, yeah, there it is. Just, just a random opening. Just a little cut up, and it kind of just didn't go all the way around. Or maybe they just made it give it some design aesthetics. Who knows? But, uh... Let's see about the lip on the edge. Oh, you get a nice, nice lip on the edge there. Uh, I, the reason why mine doesn't look as substantial if compared if you had a screen protector off is because I have a, a pretty th the zag invisible shield uh, screen protector, uh, the glass one. So it's already relatively thick. So this and this probably the same height in general, but you still get a lip, which is very awesome. It makes me very happy. We'll turn to the back, you get a really nice opening for your camera cut out. And what I like about it is it's actually just around the, the camera. You don't have to see those those bands, which a lot of the killer cases manufacturers do. They make them huge. Like it was probably the size of a half dollar for some reason. So you can see, I'm not sure what they were expecting there, but you can see the whole thing. You can see the band, half the band going through and all this other jazz. I'm not really a big fan of that. Okay, let's go to the bottom here. Look at the openings. So you can see the openings look amazing. Fit perfectly. Wow, that is really good. I'm very thoroughly impressed with that. Go over to the left side, or sorry, the right side. Look at our uh, volume, and let's go ahead and see what it's. See how good it feels. Oh wow! As if the case wasn't even on there. Very nice. Same thing with the volume rockers. I'm assuming. I'm not even giving any pressure here. I'll use my knuckle there. Nothing. Wow. Wow, wow, wow. Feels so beautiful on my hands. I love it. I'm big, big fan of Magpul cases. Their products in general, actually. Um, but yeah, there it is, guys. There's my uh, Magpul PMAG case I got for my iPhone 6 Plus. I uh, just got it about 10, 15 minutes ago now. And it's subtly beautiful. Uh, 
some of the best products I think come out of anything in regards to, in regards to uh, manufacturing is probably when they're made in the U.S. In my opinion, if you live here in the U.S., um, just because the quality seems just a lot higher standard than if you were to buy it out of another country, like China, and things like that. Um, the same thing we have in the Moto X. The Moto X was the first gym when it came out was built in the U.S. and it felt great. I didn't hear if not any complaints about how it was built. There was a few complaints about scratches and crack cracks on the, the plastic, but that was with heavy use. Um, but you didn't really hear any complaints compared to if you went to go buy a, uh, I'm not sure what's a good company to think of, maybe Samsung, where they're really flimsy back covers they have on them and things like that, which I'm not knocking them because they're still a good company, but they're not made here, in my opinion. So this is all based on my opinion. I'm not sure why I'm going off on a tangent, but... Yeah, this is my review of the uh, Magpul field case for the iPhone 6 Plus. And if you guys have any questions, go ahead and post them below. Um, go ahead and over to Magpul.com if you want to pick it up. It's uh, Magpul.com. Go ahead and hit the link on electronic cases. And it'll be about the fifth or sixth one down um, from the top. So, uh, yeah, you guys have a good one. And uh, happy holidays.